I'm gonna become a Scientologist. I think they're. I'm gonna read the book Dianetics and I'll get back to you. For Ron L. Hubbard. I'm gonna be a Scientologist. I read Ron Jeremy's book. <laughs> You guys are the first to see it, so we're still like 13,000, we get like a couple hundred views, 20, 30 comments, Will you guys decide the original watchers. $10,000 if we get 100,000 subscribers this year, we can either do one person gets 10,000 or 10 people get 1,000. That's proved by Dan. And you can't go back on it. No, you gotta ah, see, he's trying to go back on it. you gotta do this 10,000 flat. Nobody wants a thousand bucks. He doesn't know small town America. Man, out here thinking a thousand dollars ain't nothing. 10 bills. Dollar bill, yo, 10,000. Custom jewelry, everybody always asks, everybody always, oh. Custom jewelry, everybody always asks, everybody always wants to do it. So I'm gonna show a little bit of the process of how it kind of works and what you have to do to do custom stuff. First thing is you gotta send us as much info as you can with as much pictures as you can. So this client sent us a bunch of stuff. They wanted to do a pharaoh, so they sent us the pharaoh they liked, and then they had this charm that they had in the past, and they wanted to have the same kind of uh, border on the outside, and then he wanted to change the design just a little bit to have a little more detailing, so we made this to send to our graphic guys. So that was the rough kind of what he wanted. And the first thing that we got back was this here. So this is our first rendering. Keep on renderings. Every time we change something, it's another week or two because you've got to redo the whole rendering. So most important thing with custom time, custom stuff is be patient. Um, so we sent this to the customer. He wanted to make some changes, which is totally fine. You're definitely able to do that. You can't change the entire piece, but he wanted to make some changes. For example, we only put it up top, but he did want to have the lettering on the bottom as well. So we My changed old wife, this up. She's in a goddamn Bugatti today. So we changed this up. And the next thing, I think it was just a side shot. So the three rendering gives you all the options. So here's the file in our uh, rendering software, 3D printing software. This gives us the size, estimate weight, stuff like that. And then this prints to our 3D printer. It's not gonna go over there. 3D printer, this thing prints. It takes a while, this thing is slow. It makes the mold, which is cool. Do this for two reasons. One, show the customer. Two, this is actually how you do cast this thing. These are, we're making bracelets with these. Memory charm as well. Just to clean all the resin off. There's nothing wrong with the resin, it's not like poisonous or anything, it's just itchy. Not itchy, it's like really hard to get off once you get it on here. Oh yeah, smell that. <laughs> we'll let that soak for a little bit and then we'll come back. Sup, Billy? <laughs> what? I forgot you gotta put it on. Yeah. Can you place the order then? Oh! Oh, I'm a professional. We got a bunch of Italian chains here. We got curbs. Wait, hold on. I'm listening to Julia Fox. What do you mean I'm showing them? Well, right now I've done three millimeter and 3.5 and four and bracelets. What? There's seven and a half percent inflation, but there's also a supply chain for pumping. Those chains have been on order for I think like four or five months. All right, so there we go. We got our mold. And then using this, we work some jeweler magic and they get this. 70 grams. The customer wanted to do the high gloss in the background here and then with the uh, satin finish, sandblast finish on the back behind the high gloss letters and logos. The black is just a black enamel. And the back side, it was a high, but we did the. Um, this is better than doing like a high gloss because it's gonna get scratched up, so it's high as the scratches. This is going on, I think this customer's got like a 10 or 11 millimeter Cuban link. All in all, this piece took with design and he changed it a few times, so I think total production time was almost nine weeks. It's a time consuming process, so about, we usually say six to eight weeks, but in this case it took nine or 10 weeks, a little bit longer. But this is a pretty cool piece, so I think it was worth the wait. She's gonna kill.
kill me if I let this stay in the video. watch his videos or not but he upgraded his chain with us so he had like a 400 gram chain went to a 600 gram chain so i'm gonna match up this is the engraving we put on his old piece so i'm gonna put the same or similar as best as possible i can on this piece remember which font i use so i gotta figure out which one is closest What's up, Billy? Billing Diane here. She wants to show you guys something. Hello. Other than herself. What am I gonna show them? Isn't this nice? We have a 13 millimeter, 26 inch, 10 carat, 291 grams. Okay. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> 